going on people it's the randomness of trb it, it, it's gonna be a quick video monique yeah do y'all see what monique is doing monique is basically setting herself to write a tell-all book she about to superhead the game when it comes to black artists and black stars and people who are relevant in the black community relevant or irrelevant but you know who they are irrelevant <laughs> i don't think that's the right way to say that but you get my point quick video so all the gossip all the hype and everything else and what's basically going to happen she's going to be like you know what it's all in my tell-all book that i just wrote so y'all pay attention and watch pay attention and watch because she probably feel like her career is uh is done as far as movies go which i don't understand why she was a great she did great in the movie that i seen her playing sorry y'all got <laughs> the beard but uh spider webs that's not gray hair that's spider webs but um that's basically what she's doing all right um now does it suck that she's out here trying to expose all these uh prominent uh black actors and black celebrities absolutely absolutely and it's it seems petty like why why would you come out here and say this about this person and that about that person there's no reason like the benefit you're getting is because people like gossip people like drama people like scandals people like to hear uh the behind the scenes but when you are exposing the behind the scenes of uh, people who probably considered you as friends or people who just they really don't fuck with you no more and now something happened to where you feel some type of way and you want to make sure to um keep a stay you know get one last good uh paycheck out of out of the industry so you can always go do comedy everybody i'm i would even support you on the comedy front i'm changing jobs so that's why all the stuff is like that anyway um so that's basically what she's doing all right so just sit back be entertained make your commentary get excited about what's going on but there's a she's she's tipping the scale a little bit and what i mean by tipping the scale is that you know back in the early 50s 60s and 70s you didn't really know what was going on out there in the industry you just saw this person you had this perceived perception of a person where she's shattering all perceived perceptions of of individuals you know and even kind of she's being a hypocrite and kind of contradicting herself you know i think she said like somebody was trying to uh her current husband that she has now who a lot of people say is there for the money he might genuinely love her but uh you know they was proud of of, of that open relationship but now that you got people out here who want to take advantage of that open relationship you want to expose them it's kind of like really really if it's an open relationship and you know the industry you got to kind of keep things quiet and in a, in a circle and now you want to get mad because if this person did try to sleep with your man as a celebrity as a black celebrity you want to get mad at that when you supposedly you supposedly had an open relationship well what would be pretty dope if you know she's, she's throwing all these people under the bus for whatever reason uh people start throwing her under the bus like oh you want to tell mine i'm gonna tell yours but that, is that being petty yeah but i'm on outside looking in so it's like she's trashing y'all why don't y'all trash her tell some secrets about her but you know what at the end of the day we don't need none of it we don't need no secrets we don't need no uh <clears throat> none of it you know let, let let these people live so to speak so that's just my take on the whole monique thing she's she's basically about to do a tell-all book and um make a lot of money in a short amount of time by going around to these radio stations and tvs and you know throwing everybody under the bus community small that is as it is and now you want to and then it, it, you know and then you wonder why you know people don't really want to want to fuck with you like that you know because stuff like this can happen people that you probably thought were genuine friends will definitely turn on you so uh, or have the ability to turn on you and hold it over your head. I have no clue what that was. Anyway, it's the randomness of TRB. Thank y'all for uh, watching. Like, subscribe, share. If you agree with me, let me know. If you don't agree with me, let me know. Uh, if you want to make a rebuttal to this movie, uh, this movie, this uh, you, this episode or whatever, let me know. Throw it out there. Throw it in the comments or whatever. But. Yeah, it's wrong. Monique, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong, but at the end of the day, none of these people is going to look out for you, so I guess you're right. All right? All right it, it, matter of fact, y'all tell me, is she wrong? Because when she probably need help with certain things, they probably not assisting her. Like the Oprah's 
Tyler Perry, who tried to make things right, still got thrown under the bus. And all these other people, Kim Whitley and all these other people they threw under the bus. Um, that she threw under the bus. And I'm sure they're going to try to do their best to come and rebuttal to her. But once it's out there, it's out there. It's the internet. All right? It's TRB, baby. Y'all be easy. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.